and welcome to Limitless. My name's Tim and I'm here to give you a little introduction to the Ministry of Limitless, the National Youth and Children's Ministry of Elam Pentecostal Churches across the UK. What we're all about is equipping leaders and inspiring churches to raise up a limitless generation. That's what gets us up in the morning and keeps us awake at night because we cannot think of anything more important that we could give our lives to than passing on the gospel to the next generation. How do we go about it? Well, right now we've got seven core ministries. We've got Limitless Pioneers, which is our ministry that helps churches that don't have any young people to go and pioneer brand new youth ministries and reach the young people in their communities. Limitless Academy is our youth ministry and applied theology degree program that we run in partnership with Regents Theological College. Limitless Kids is our ministry to children and to children's ministry leaders. And then there's the four events that we run across the year. Limitless Leaders in January is our national gathering of youth and children's ministry leaders. Limitless One in February is where in, in seven locations across the UK at the same time, young people come together to worship God. Seven locations, one event, one Limitless family. Then in the summer, it's the big one, it's Limitless Festival, our national gathering of, of youth groups, young people from right across the UK, of all church denominations and backgrounds as we have uh, transformative experiences in community and in God's presence. Limitless Festival is all about community, connection and change. And then finally, come the autumn, it's Limitless Oxygen. Regional training events, again, in seven locations so that it's near to our teams. And we encourage the whole of the youth and children's ministry team to come together towards the start of the academic year and get some fresh input together as they go again, giving their best to reach young people and children with the gospel. So that's a little bit about Limitless. What are you gonna do now? And well, of course, you're gonna to want to, to subscribe to this YouTube page, which is the Elam Pentecostal Church's YouTube page. And then you're gonna to wanna to search for Limitless Elam and come find our YouTube page as well, subscribe to that one. That's where you'll get all of our content, whether it's our leadership series or our Limitless TV staff or, or just the highlights from, from the events of what God's been doing. You can find out some pioneer stories, what God's been doing amongst churches who are stepping out, taking a step of faith to reach the young people in their communities. It's all there at Limitless Elim, and you can follow us on our socials as well, at Limitless Elim, across YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. So connect with us, stay in touch, and I'll look forward to seeing you in person very soon. God bless. The milk challenge. Tim, the challenge, the challenge you have, the first person to down the milk wins. Are you ready for this? Cheers. Go. Oh, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Yeah. I'm struggling. You really are. Look at that! I'm so good. <laughs> oh. oh, it's going slower now, isn't it? Oh, he's doing good. So, true story. A mate of mine once got a text from his wife saying, what do you want from life? And so my mate, who's married, starts totally freaking out, thinking, what's going on? Is our marriage in trouble? I thought everything was okay, until his phone buzzed again, and it said, what do you want from Lidl? <laughs> but here's the thing, although she didn't really mean to ask that question, it is a good question, isn't it? What do you want from life? What are the things that you're dreaming that God could do in and through your life? Because we believe that God has got bigger dreams for you than you have for yourself. The Bible tells us that we are God's handiwork, creating Christ Jesus to good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. Which means that God has got plans and purposes for your life that exceed your imagination. He's got things to do through your life that will surprise and delight you. It means that with God, your potential is 
limitless. And yet, there are some limitations in your life that could stop you from experiencing everything that God is envisioning for your future. And so, in this series of Limitless TV, we're going to look at four limitations that could stop us from experiencing the purposes that God has for our lives. We're going to open up the Bible together to find out how to overcome those limitations, how to become the limitless generation that God has called us to be. And so today, the first limitation that we're going to be looking at is that of self-doubt. In the Bible, there's a guy by the name of Gideon. He's part of the people of Israel. And at this point in their history, Israel has been invaded and overcome by a nation called Midian. And the Bible says that Gideon and his people have been run out of their homes and they're hiding in caves in the mountains. And now, after seven years of running and hiding, God shows up and says to Gideon, you're the guy that I'm calling to save Israel from Midian and to lead them into a new season of freedom. So here's how it happened. I'm reading from Judges chapter 6 in my Bible and verse 11. It says that the angel of the Lord came and sat down under the oak in Ophrah that belonged to Joash the Abizurite, where his son Gideon was threshing wheat in the wine press to keep it from the Midianites. When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Pardon me, my Lord, Gideon replied, but if the Lord is with us, then why has all of this happened to us? Where are all of his wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and given us to the hand of Midian. The Lord turned to Gideon and said, go in the strength that you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand. Am I not sending you? Pardon me, my lord, Gideon replied, but how can I save Israel? My clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my family. So God is calling Gideon to lead Israel into a new season, but Gideon almost missed it because of what? His self-doubt. He said, but God, I'm the weakest in my clan, I'm the least in my family, I don't have what it takes. And his self, that was a limitation that's preventing him from entering the things that God was calling him to do. Yeah, that's right. I wonder if you've ever felt like Gideon. I wonder if you ever let self-doubt get the better of you. I wonder if you ever believed that God couldn't use you. I know I have. I remember one particular time when I first got a phone call to, to do this job I'm doing now at Limitless. And I thought, I can't do that. I, I, I don't have the skill. I don't have the experience I don't have the, the qualifications I thought you know I'm inexperienced and I'm underqualified and th- you know what the other thing I did was is I looked at all the people around me and I thought of all these people who I thought could do a, a better job than me and essentially what I was saying to myself was what Gideon was saying to God I'm the weakest in my clan I'm the least in my family God there's all these other people who could do it better and you see what was happening was God was calling me into something but I almost missed it why because of my self-doubt. I wonder if you've ever felt like, like Tim did, like Gideon did. Perhaps you look around at the people in your school or your youth group and the comparison causes you to say, I'm the least in my youth group, I'm the weakest in my clan. I don't have what it takes, I'm inexperienced and I'm underqualified. And you know what? The truth is, if you feel like that, you might be right. <laughs> you see, when I doubted myself, my self-doubt was fully justified. I, I, I was underqualified for the job, but I learned that that's okay. Why? Because God is not limited by my limitations. So today we're here to let you know that God has got a calling for your life. Yeah. And that calling is the only qualification that need for God to be able to use you. Because why? God doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies the called. Yeah, that's right. See, so, so there was nothing, was there, about Gideon's life that qualified him for for his calling. There was nothing that qualified him to be a leader. There was nothing that qualified him to be a warrior. Remember, when God called him, where was he? He was running away and hiding in caves along with the rest of his people. And in that specific moment where the angel showed up, where was Gideon? He was threshing wheat in the wine press. In other words, he was farming. But did you notice that when the angel addressed him, he didn't say, the Lord is with you, mighty farmer. He said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Why? 
because God looked beyond his present and he saw his potential. God looked beyond his circumstances and he saw his calling. God looks at Gideon with a limitless perspective and he sees something in Gideon that Gideon doesn't see in himself. Yeah. So right now, your self-doubt might have you hiding out in caves. But when you follow the call of God on your life, what's been hidden in you is revealed by God, and he says, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. So if you doubt yourself, you know what? Join the club, yeah. we're in it. <laughs> but we need to overcome our self-doubt if we are to step into the purposes and plans that God has for our lives. How do we do that? Well. We need to change perspective. Not to look at yourself through the lenses of your own limitations, but to look at yourself through the eyes of a limitless God. A God who looks beyond your present and sees your potential, beyond your circumstance and sees your calling. A God who calls out of you the person you are made to be and says, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Because God is not limited by your limitations.